Hi guys, in this video I thought I'd uh, test those lights that I was given, so I've got a few bits and pieces ready. I've already gotten ahead and uh, sort of tested this one, it does work. So, and that's with the um, bodged in battery conversion, but it is working. All I've done is push the wires through here and twist it at random contacts because it should take a 4.5 volt sort of square overly sort of battery, I can't remember the battery code but they're pretty much obsolete now so if someone's uh, converted this one which um, I do plan to get a front one at some point to go on my um, French 3 speed bike so that's good to go next one I'm going to do is the Duracell one if I can get the uh, cover off it's not easy to get the cover off, it's not a case of just pulling it or pushing that down and pulling it you've actually got to pull this little yellow tab up towards the lens and then there's a little notch either side of this cover you just pull it up so it's a bit of a two-handed job rather than a one-handed job and it takes oops, two C size C size batteries. Oh, that's not bad. It's actually pretty bright with some. Hmm. The light beam it gives off isn't actually too bad, to be honest. Um, I don't know how old this is, but it's not one I'm familiar with. I'll take these batteries out of there. Just pop that back on, so two passes. Uh, we'll do the big old X-side torch next, next show. My ever-ready motor mate had um, one of these screws missing, and this one's got a screw missing. The bottom should just slide off. It's got good, clean battery contacts up there. So, I'm going to put a nice battery in there. There you go. Switches on. <laughs> so I already know the main torch work. It's going to be dim because the battery is um, shit, to put it bluntly. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that in there. Put a screw in. I probably can find a screw to go in the other side. It's only a little self-tapper. So, Oh yeah, I think that battery is getting dead. So that means it's not probably not going to work with the flash dome on. Ooh. <laughs> right, so that's glowing red. Now, if the bulb hasn't been changed, that dome, I'll just point you up, should start flashing. Um, but it might not. But while that's doing that, I'm going to pop the lens off this. I doubt I've got any batteries to test this because this takes a um, little um, thingy battery. I'm not really held in with one screw, but I don't think my screwdriver's in. That isn't flashing. So I think someone's changed the bulb. Well, I'm going to get a brand new battery for that. Because that seems to work pretty well. Better than the Ever Ready Motor Mate I had, actually. It's exactly the same, it's just basically an X-side knockoff. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look at this one later, because I've got to find my um, screwdriver up. So the last one to look at, I need to find cable for, this is a 6 volt thing, so I'm going to have to take the battery out of there. So what I could do, actually, I'll just screw that back down on there. Some sort of rubbery cover on here, which is rotted, so I'll take that off. And there's two wires here already. So, what I'm actually going to do now, that should have started flashing way before then, so it don't matter, still a nice red warning light on top. The only difference with this and the motor mate is that the blue plastic body on the Ever Ready motor mate is a lighter colour blue. This is actually a dark blue. Other than that, they're identical. 
Maybe the dome on this isn't meant to flash, I don't know. It might be that it's not meant to flash if it's, um, you know... They may have designed it like that to avoid uh, copyright or something. Yeah, it's only a little flathead self-tapper in there. I'll get one for the other side. No, don't. I've got one in my box of screws anyway. Right, so that's a pass. So, does this weird little thing work? bulb as I screw in. Let's uh, unscrew the bulb, shall we? The bulb will unscrew. Hmm. Um, a minute. I've got to try bulbs here. I'll just, uh, just grab another one. whiff of something very hot. But now it's gone. Okay. Quite scary. It's not working with another bulb in there. Sure, there's an obvious fault here somewhere. Oh, I'll find it right. So that bulb works. I know that bulb works. So theoretically, I'll get this freaking bulb to screw in. If I put my meter across the two wires, which should have continuity. light is loose and not connecting the ground very well on the clip. So it was working. Now it stopped working. Yeah. Ah. That ain't gonna help, is it? Maybe ah uh, Okay. <laughs> Fuck. That ain't good because I can't get the damn thing back in now. Yeah, I think the idea is this lens holds that in. So you put your bulb in here, like this. I think this is meant to be the idea. That then would go in here, somehow. Should slot straight in. And then the lens would screw on there, but it's not doing either at the moment. Why won't that go in? have the um, lens screwed on. Yes, just dodgy wires, I'm trying to hold two wires on and... It's not very bright because I've got dead battery and a shitty bulb, but it works. It does work, that's a good thing. Although I have to say, that's not going in very well. Further, can I get this in? There we go. Oh, 
weird little light. I might take that off the um, clip and put it on a bike some other way with some other power source. I've got three volt screwing bulbs so I could connect this to a different power supply. Well, that is just a nifty little light, I like that. I wanted it as soon as I saw it <laughs> in the box of bits. So, I can call that a success. I can have a look at this. This probably just needs um, a little silver button cell replaced. I don't think I have any of the batteries. I'm trying to leave the screwdriver. What have I done with it? Uh, I cleared a load of tools off this table. That was a bad thing to go and do. So let me just go see if I can find it on the Lego desk. Or anything I can use. Okay, so try to use a screwdriver ten times too big, doesn't work. Put that money in that. There you go. Two minutes. Well, that. that. Okay, that bulb's top now. something oh, it's all good it's all good and something give this another whirl right so the cross head bit don't I a little one and the blue one fit yes stick that in there this is the set I got out of Lidl's Whee. Oh, it's working really well. That should pop out of there. There's the button. There's uh, two, two of those little button cells in there that would need replacing. Um, if they're dead, of course. I'll just have a quick... I will just pop them out. Really pop out? Cool. Mm, they're tight. Ah! Ow! Sharp corners. <laughs> it did pop out though, but blast, they're in there tight. Ow! Well, that one's on the floor. Um, should we test it? Just, uh, um, actually, I'm not like some people that leave tools laying about, especially when I've got a nice kit like this. I'll clip that in there and I'll put the screwdriver bit back. Close the lid. I thought I'd lost the screw for it, but that's uh that's still there. It's in the board. Um let's see if I can't get a pack of batteries. Let's see if it is dead, shall we? More than likely, but Yeah, there's not a lot of power power in it. But it should actually work, because there's only one point something below. Is there any dirt on the switch pad? No. Where's the one that flew onto the floor? Where's the flashlight? There's going to be a bugger to find, I think. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it! Found a fuse, found a connect block. It's 
quite a few little goodies under there. Let's test this one as well, shall we? Ah, I think I might have found the problem. I think one went rusty. Yeah. I couldn't actually get a stable read, which is probably due to the crap on here. So if I clean the battery off, now we'll try it. And after all this, oh, I've just hit the backlight button. Well, that one's low, but shouldn't be um, so low it wouldn't run. I'm just going to check battery contact, because uh, it does look a bit dirty in there, so I'll clean that. Put this back in, and in theory... Still nothing. Uh, let's just take the actual button out of there. if I've got these up the right way, to be honest. I think it's this one causing the problem. I think it's just the one. Yeah, and the pad in there is still a bit dirty. Hang on. It's a free light, so if I can't get it to work, it's not a big deal. Right. could do something to clamp the flipping thing into. Mm. I'll try new batteries because I want a lot of voltage on the tracks there, so... So, that's not bad. Four passes, one fail. So far. I'm just going to uh, put the button, the board, and the screw in here. And if I put the light um, cover back on, make it all together. There we go. That's a bowl. Right, that's it for this video. No more lights to try. So, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.